What's up, YouTube world? Hope all is well out there in internet land. Hope you've been enjoying the new content that's been on the channel. Welcome today to another how-to video. So today, we're gonna explain to you the differences between a collar and a harness, um, how to properly fit both, and just, just a few differences between each one of them, what their uses are for, and, and or what we use them for. There's lots of other types of collars. We're not talking about those today. We're just talking about a regular, flat collar and how it should fit on your dog. This is a traditional flat collar. Um, typically, you know, a collar is an item that you see people use more often on their dog. Um, some people do choose to use harnesses. We're going to talk about those in a second. First thing is you want to make sure it fits your dog properly, right? So this is a medium. I'm working with a dog that's around 125 pounds or so. I like, you know, collars with the double holes here and you see made very sturdy. Um, I just like how they fit, the metal holes, they just kind of slide right in there. You can see it fits right in real nice. Pops right through, goes right back down. Just know, it just gives you no problems. It, so you're gonna have a harness. It's a beautiful harness, again, made by Rogue Royalty. Uh, loving the camo, so really nice, really nice, super high quality. When a dog is wearing a harness, it typically gives you no control. So if you put a harness on a dog, don't expect them to not be pulling, unless they've already been trained. Okay, if you put a harness on a dog, it typically promotes pulling. So, I use harnesses more or less when I put a dog on a tie out or I'm doing protection work with the dog and I want to have something to hold on to. Um, or if the dog has already been trained, it's, you know, it's a nice looking item and, you know, I do like to put a harness on a dog that's been trained and I walk them with the harness. But it's not an item that you're going to want to use on a dog that hasn't been trained. So now Lisa's going to go out, she's going to get the dog. She's going to bring it back in and we're going to show you how to first properly fit a collar. So let's do it. I'll go get the dog. Hello, welcome to our how-to series. I'm Lisa Grennan. This is Blade, General's grandson, Zion's son. So I'm going to show you how to properly fit a collar on a dog. Alright, so I'm going to put this on Blade here and show you how it should properly fit. So the collar should be right in the center of the dog's neck. So you don't want too much space in between there where it's going to slip over the dog's neck, but you don't want it too tight where it's choking him either should be about two finger space in between the dog's neck. So this is a perfect fit for him. You can see it doesn't slide up over his head. It's not, he can't slip it. And he's got the two finger space in between his neck and the collar. So it's important when you do this, the dog comes to you, you're not chasing him around. Uh, he should be calm. I'm not having to hold him still. So now that I showed you how to fit the collar, I'll show you how to properly fit the harness. All right, so I'm gonna start by fitting this around his neck. And it's the same idea you want about um, about two fingers in between his neck and the harness. And on this one, he is on the last one, the tightest one. Put his front foot through there. And same idea with the, around his stomach here. About two fingers here. He's got space here, space here. This is a perfect fit for the harness for this dog. chance to win one of these collars. All you gotta do is put a comment down there. Tell me why you think you should win this collar. 